so good, baby, that you should be because you're telling us our showcase on Monday Night Raw in front of thousands in attendance and millions watching at home. Well, the Miz to Raj are happy. happy. And that's great. Because I'm not. Why you're not? Why you're not Three happy? Ago, you two were swimming in a pool of mediocrity. I brought you opportunity. I brought you spotlight. I brought you Mizzies. And how do you repay me? By failing me when I need you the most. If I wanted failure, I would have never gone to LA. I would have stayed here in Cleveland. Now you're shutting them out. Oh, bro. We are on the road to WrestleMania, and I can't even count on my Miz Garage. Miz, of course you can count on us, I man. I can! I can! Two weeks! Two weeks! I have been left down on this mat because you two let me down. Uh oh, we're gonna see some betrayal. Everything we can. Everything we can. Everything you can. Oh no! Maybe you still bullied yourself back to catering. Oh, bro. Bro. Jeez. Oh, Seth Rollins. Looks like we got a little bit of Seth Rollins situation. Well, Seth Rollins got involved. <laughs> well, Seth Rollins is here. <laughs> okay. I love Seth Rollins. This Raj hashing out their problems. This is really good. So look, I don't mean to interrupt. Not at all. <laughs> He's not sorry. Let you guys do your thing. Hash it out. Solve your problems. I'm just gonna solve your problems you together. Interrupt. It came out just a little early. Usually the way this works is I announce your name in music hits and then you come. Whatever. The we have is you. Well. If I'm out of here, I, you might as well let me help. Yes, yes, let me help here. I can mediate, guys. I can mediate. It, uh -huh. Honestly, Miz, it seems to me that the Mr. Oz, they're just they're feeling a little underappreciated. Underappreciated. I mean, honestly, when was the last time you looked Bo and Axel in their eyes and you said, thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Are you kidding? No, I, I'm not kidding. If I were you, I would be thanking them every single chance I got. Hell, I would. I'd be running out. I say thank you every day. Their, their, without them, you wouldn't be the Intercontinental Champion. Exactly. I'd be thanking them. I'd be leading every crowd in Mr. Oz chants. Mr. Raj, Mr. Raj. They're liking the Mr. Raj. I mean, the Miz. Miz, give them a chance. Give them a chance. Mr. Raj. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes up. Shut the heck up, I'll murder you. Rude Goldberg. No, you'd be grateful for me. Because I elevated your careers, not the other way around. <sighs> Even without the Mr. Raj, I would still be an Intercontinental Champion. I would still be a huge star. I would still be a, a food A-lister that can't fight. Second week in a row. And, uh, just like you needed Seth's help earlier, it looks like you need my help now. Well? Because uh, everyone's trying to figure out what did Bo Dallas actually say right there. Replay it back of what he said. A foodie listener that can't fight. Here in the ring, but 
I was backstage and I could hear crystal clear that Bo Dallas said that The Miz was the biggest jerk that he'd ever met. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to, I did not call him a jerk. Okay, okay, okay. We all know what he said. We all know what he said. I said he was a phony alien who can't fight. That's what I said. He said it again. He said it again. He said it again. He said it again. He said. <laughs> yes, he said it again. <laughs> oh, say that again. <laughs> oh, now you're forcing him to. Now you're forcing him to. <laughs> I said you were a fool. Oh! Bro. Okay. Okay, you want to go down the hard way? You want to go down the hard way? I don't want you to become the longest reign intercontinental champion. No, I don't want you to be. You suck. Oh, he brought up the Mr. Perfect as his dad. Oh, Bob, Mr. Perfect as his dad. Oh, oh no. Oh shoot. Mr. Perfect! Oh! That's it. That one slipped. Nah, it sounded like you meant it when you said that was Mr. Perfect. Yeah, I don't think that was a slip. That one slipped! That was a slip! It slipped! No one did it! Let's, let's, let's just calm down. Let's take a breath, everyone. Everyone in the audience, everyone just, just, let's breathe in. And breathe out. Let's, let's just calm down. You suck! You know what? We don't need this. We don't need this. You know what? Sorry, guys. Everyone in audience, everyone in attendance, Miss TV is now canceled. Well then. Well then. Well then. Well then. I am be adored. Listen. Let's let's just get out of here, right? <laughs> Oh, now you're turning on the Miz. This is good. This is good. You are so screwed. I do. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> Watch out for the- <laughs> You're right behind Miz. No, you're right behind Seth Rollins and Finn Brawler. <laughs> oh! You bitch. You know, I was like being happy the whole time, right? I don't know about that. But Bo says you are a phony. You suck. I hate the Miz so much. I hate him so much. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh! Oh! We got the ballot club in hand. 
I do notice that they were joking the whole time. I was just like being silly. <laughs> Looks like the Gallows and Anderson taking out the Miz Oh my lord. <laughs> Look at the Miz now. He's just like... Oh fuck. No. Don't you dare. Don't you dare! Oh! Baby! Oh my gosh. Here we go. Curse up! Curse up! Curse up! Curse up! Curse up! Are Well, that took my waste of time. You think you're smarter than them? You're dumber than the minions. Watch Finn Balor attack Seth. Oh, I see the Intercontinental title in the ring. I want Seth Rollins to win. You want to know why? The main reason what I want him to become the Grand Slam champion. To join the Grand Slam club. This is the only title Seth Rollins has never hold. Woo! See? Get out, Miz. Go back where you came from. Oh! Bro, went for a clothesline to Rollins. Bro. I want Rollins to win. That way he can become Grand Slam champion. And I hope the Miz doesn't become the longest reigning Intercontinental champion. Still, you know I would—they were tricking, tricking us the whole time, right? 